The answer to the post-time brain teaser? Powerful Toy won the Progress Pace at Dover Downs in 2000 in 152 and 4 with Luke Wallet in the bike. Welcome back to our very first post time show of 2011. Of course, it's supposed to be all about the baby new year this time of season, right? But we are going to honor a four legged father time competing right here at Dover Downs. In here, number three, I'm a Prince Two, goes to post for trainer Janet Davis. The six, Kazmir Bad Boy, has Hall of Famer Ron Pierce in the bike. And number seven, Racin' John, is in his second start back after four months between races. There are, there goes Racin' John out for that lead toward the inside. That's Drew Brat Brumack with I'm a Prince too, but where Beret's got the rail. Racing up in fifth now is Ophiuchus, followed by Exotic Hero. Then it's Riley Bow. The trailers are Casimir Bed Boy, and at the end, that sudden interest. They race around the turn. I'm a Prince too, gets the lead. Racing John on the outside, Drew Bromack has the rail, then it's Beware Beret. 26 and 4 fifths. They race by the stands, I'm a Prince too on top. Racing John on the outside, those two are heads apart, Racing John trying to get by, and I'm a Prince too is back to second with Drew Bromack third. Another two lanes, Beware Beret. Out comes off of Yucas, followed by Exotic Hero, then it's Riley Bow, Casimir Bed Boy, and the trailer is sudden interest as they make their way over toward the half and racing john is on top by two lengths 54 and three fifths as they go to the back stretch it's racing john two lengths i'm a prince two is there followed by drew bromack on the outside off of Yucas, followed by exotic toy exotic hero down inside beware beret then it's riley bow followed by casimir bad boy they continue up the back stretch racing john's got the lead uh, on the outside, off of Yucas, three wide now is Exotic Hero toward the inside, Drew Bromack. Riley Bowe's going to have to go four wide. Three quarters and 124, midway on the final turn, and it's still Racing John. The lead is two and a half lanes coming toward the top of the stretch. Racing John's got a two and a half length lead at the top of the stretch. I'm a Prince two racing second. They come off the turn, and Racing John's got the lead. Down the inside, I'm a Prince too. Here comes Casimir, bad boy, on the far outside, flying by everybody. Casimir, bad boy, is up to win it. I'm a Prince too, racing John. Tight for fourth, Drew Bromack, maybe over Riley Bow, tight, 154 and three. Casimir, bad boy, owned by Marilyn Milbrand, wins in 154 and three with a come off the pace effort. The Don Kozlowski trainee has raced every year since he was three and has made over a half a million dollars. Casimir Bad Boy just turned 12 years old on January 1st. As a matter of fact, all standard breads turn a year older on New Year's Day. Of course, they weren't all born on January 1st, but when it comes to keeping records, it just makes things less complicated to have all the racehorses turning a year older on the first day of the new year. In this next field of pacers, it was a Delaware fan favorite who made it to the winner's circle for an early birthday celebration. In this event, number three, Pete's Elect, came to America this past spring. The four, Village Blitz, goes into this start off a win. And number eight, Romantic Thriller, may be the longest shot on the board, but keep an eye on them. There off, there goes Village Blitz out for the lead from the far outside, that's Romantic Thriller. Inside is Capote, winner die trying, came away in fourth, racing up in fifth, Pete's Elect. Then comes Jovial Jester, Forever Good, and at the end, that's Arezzo Hanover as they race around the turn, and from the outside, that's Romantic Thriller up to get the lead. Romantic Thriller followed by Village Blitz. Coming away in third, that's Capote in front of Winter Die Trying Fast, 26 and three-fifths as they race by the stands, and it's Romantic Thriller on top a length and a half. Village Blitz came away in second, followed by Capote. Winter Die Trying is there in fourth, racing fifth is Pete's Elect. And then it's Jovial Jester. The trailers are forever good in Arezzo Hanover as they make their way into the turn. And up front, that's Romantic Thriller. Romantic Thriller, length and a half. Sitting in second is Village Blitz. Winner Die Trying is sitting outside, trying to flush out Capote. 
didn't work. 55 and 4 as they go to the back stretch. It's romantic thriller, a length and a half. Sitting in second is Village Blitz, winner die trying on the outside, followed by Capote. Out comes Pete Select from fifth. Then comes Jovial Jester, Rezo Hanover, and Forever Good as they continue up the back stretch toward the final turn. Romantic Thriller has that lead. Winner Die Trying is on the outside with the rail. That's Village Blitz, 124 and 2. Around the final turn, Romantic Thriller still there. Village Blitz, Winner Die Trying, three wide, Pete Select. Down inside is Capote. They come to the top of the stretch, and Romantic Thriller turns for home with the lead. Village Blitz is ready to move from second. Pete Select on the far outside coming through the stretch. It's Romantic Thriller. Here's Pete Select coming on the outside. Village Blitz toward the rail. Pete Select, Village Blitz, Village Blitz, and Pete Select together in 54. Three pacers are right there at the wire. But it's a Village Blitz who wins by a nose in 154 for owner trainer Artie Foster Jr. The older warrior who was driven by Tony Morgan in this one and paid $16.20, just turned 11 on January 1st, 2011. Village Blitz is a very familiar name in Delaware racing because not only did he win the 2007 Governor's Cup, but he was also voted the 2008 Harrington Raceway Horse of the Year. Here's a little something you may not know about Village Blitz. He makes a quick cameo in a music video. That's right. Just go to YouTube.com and type in a search for I'm from Delaware. You'll see the music video for a humorous song with that same name. And at 1 minute and 17 seconds into the song, you'll see Village Blitz. There he is in the winner's circle for the Governor's Cup at the Delaware State Fair. It goes by fast, but that's the beauty of YouTube. You can play it over and over and over. I know that Santa is on vacation now, but if you want to kick off the year on my nice list, then you better leave that remote control alone. You'll be glad you did. Stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> 